If you've just updated to iOS 18.3, did you know there are settings buried in your iPhone that could be draining your battery, compromising your privacy, or slowing things down? Even after an update, some features work against you. So today I'm going to walk you through five crucial settings you need to turn off now immediately to get the most out of your iPhone. All right, so number one is turn off Apple intelligence reports. This feature is introduced in recent updates that collects and analyzes your interactions, including messages and app usage to improve the Apple ecosystem. While this sounds great on paper, it's a bit of a privacy concern for many users, including myself. So here's how to turn it off. You're gonna go ahead and open your settings and then go to your privacy and security and then scroll all the way down to Apple Intelligence Report. Tap on it and toggle off the report duration option. So by doing so, you're stopping your iPhone from automatically sending your personal data back to Apple. It's a small step, but it goes a long way in protecting your privacy and not to mention all the background tasks. It's gonna save you a lot of battery life. Number two, disable background app refresh. I don't know if it's just for me or it just happens to all of you guys. After any major update, this background app refresh tends to reset itself even if I turn it off on the previous update. So for those of you who are not familiar with what this background app refresh is, it basically allows apps to update their content even when you're not actively using them, but this can seriously drain your battery and consume data. So here's how to manage it and turn it off. You can go to your settings, general, and then go to background app refresh. And then all you have to do is set it to off, or if you prefer to customize it for specific apps, then you're more than welcome to do so. But I just think that not all apps should have access to background app refresh 24 seven. But most apps don't need this feature enabled. For example, do you really need your shopping app refreshing itself in the background? Probably not. So turning this off is a game changer for battery life and overall performance. Number three, tweak messaging settings. Now let's optimize your texting experience. iOS 18.3 introduced some new exciting settings under messages that you should be aware of. If you go to your settings and messages, you can enable now RCS messaging for better experience when texting Android users. This feature allows for richer group chats, higher quality media sharing, and better reliability, as well as the reactions that you can do on the Android user side of things. Scroll down and turn off low image mode if it's enabled. This setting reduces the quality of images you send and receive. So if you want your photos to look their best, turn this off. So by making these adjustments, it will give you a smoother and more visually pleasing messaging experience. Number four, strengthen Safari privacy settings. Safari is your gateway to the internet and it's crucial to make it as secure as possible. Apple has added several new options to protect your privacy. Go to settings and open Safari. Enable prevent cross-site tracking as well as hide IP address and fraudulent website warning. These features block websites and advertisers from tracking you across the web. So now for the advanced step, if you scroll down to advanced section at the bottom, you can locate the privacy preserving ad measurement and you can turn this off as well. This setting sounds harmless, but it still allows some tracking under the ease of ad performance, disabling it, it ensures maximum privacy. And number five, let's talk about money saving tip. After updates, people often forget to check their active subscriptions and some apps might even re-enable trials you have canceled. I don't know if it's a glitch or not, but here's what to do. Go to settings, tap your name at the top and select subscription to see full list of what you are paying for. And just as a bonus tip, always check the analytics that your iPhone automatically to sends to Apple. It tends to, after every major update, it tends to turn it on by default. So if you just go to your uh, privacy and security and then go all the way down, you can see analytics and improvement and Apple advertising. Those are the two things that I want you to turn off. As well as if you go to your location services and scroll all the way down to system services and then and locate where it says product improvement. Those are the three things, iPhone analytics, routing and traffic and improved map, maps. Those are the three things that you may want to turn off in case if it is on. Another pro tip is restart your iPhone after making these changes. Updates can sometimes leave your iPhone feeling sluggish and restart helps it process the changes and run more smoothly. You can do this either uh, automatically by pressing and holding your lock button as well as your volume up and down, or you can just go to settings, general, 
and click on shutdown and slide to per power off and you only have to do just wait a few seconds turn your iphone back on this simple step but effective it clears temporary glitches and resets the ram and ensures your iphone is running at its best but there you have it guys five essential settings to turn off right now in ios 18.3 these tweaks will improve your privacy save battery life and optimize your overall experience if you found this video helpful please leave me a big thumbs up because it really helps the channel out as well as consider subscribing down below for more weekly content just like this one thanks again for watching i'll catch you guys next video peace out